Spring San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want that? Sure, keep rolling. I'm still oh, rolling. Go for it. All right, cool. Uh, well, so we uh, designed the insulation as well as the chilling system for this greenhouse, this magnificent beast. With that, if you want to come over closer this way, mm -hmm. we actually had a design. We have 3D modeled these systems, the two tanks separately, and uh, figured out what we would need to cover said things. So with that, we came down here. We actually had to come up with different ideas on how to install and slip this in an already pre-made space. This was already attached to this top. We had to go in and attach this in prior. So that was kind of a fun challenge. If you come over here, some of the extra piece, uh, pipe systems we had to actually install to work the chiller as well as move water volume from this tank to this tank. We can come down here and take a look up. We had to devise a pipe system and we used something that's kind of like a manometer. And uh, can you see my hand there? Yeah. Right there? All right, so basically, water is going to flow in this general direction. So from here over to here. And uh, as, as this tank gets higher and this tank gets lower, because the pump is actually in this tank, mm -hmm. the water is going to go from here and go that way uh, due to a pres pressure equalization, kind of like how you would think a manometer uh, would work. And so with that, we actually devised a air purging system and that includes a ball valve and an extra pipe to uh, either flush water in in order to flush out the air through the outsides or to either uh, apply a vacuum around this hose right here. <laughs> I'll be going to stick right up here for now and uh, to pull out the air. Uh, with the chiller actually, so there's another one of those, another T-valve that runs a hose over to this direction. And in there that's where we're storing our small chiller that's devised to pull the energy out of these two systems and with that we haven't installed the pump yet to go into that chiller but that's going to sit inside of a filter box to keep the crud fish crud out of it and it's going to get sucked up from this tank and go into there and like i said earlier go into that over there and split off into a t-valve and separate to both those tanks okay. what he said he, <laughs> explained it, he explained it all he didn't leave anything for me okay 